Hey, what's up? So I'm going to show you this library for state management in React. It's called Easy Peasy, and it's built on top of Redux, and it's much simpler than Redux. And as you can see, uh, it supports middleware out of the box, a div tool, uh, state resistance, um, I mean, uh, and much more. And uh, yeah, it's much simpler than Redux, and I think the best way to learn it is to write some code. So I'm going to show you very simple example on uh, how we can create store and dispatch actions, thunks, and fetch data from an API and so on. And I'm going to use this JSON placeholder API. If you go to forward slash posts, you will see a hundred posts like this. So I will put a link in the description for this as well. Okay. So to start, you should create a new React application using the Create React App CI. So, might do it like this, npx create react app, then the name you want. After you're done with this, so just cd into this and open it in your text editor, I'll be using VS Code. So, uh, in the documentation, they just tell you how to do it, but they don't tell you how to organize everything. If they leave that uh, up to you, and I like this, but I'm going to show you my way. So, I will split my code into features. Uh, not by type, so I won't have a file called styles, file called component. Sorry, a folder called styles and a folder called components. I'll just have a called a folder called features, and inside of it, I will have a posts posts feature. Maybe in the future, a comments feature, and this posts will be So I will add I will add these into our store and do some CRUD operations on them uh, with easy peasy state management. So this is what I mean by feature. And uh, maybe we have comments in the future. You maybe you can add this as a exercise. Comments like this. And as you can see, we have a hundred comments as well. So and everything regarding the posts will be here. Even the uh, Redux, or sorry, even the easy peasy stuff will be here. So to start, I will have my component. So it will be a functional component. I have an extension. It's called uh, it's this one. It's really have it's have a rogue name. But after you install this one, you can type rc. Uh, sorry, r. CFE, which stands for React Functional Component, and export. It will export it for you as well. Okay. Uh, what I did here is formatting the document with prettier. Anyway, so th this will be it for our posts. Let's go to our app to JS. Let's remove everything. And let's remove the logo, let's remove the CSS. And we only need React. And that's it. Let's remove the logo. Let's remove the app to CSS. And let's in install the libraries we are going to use. So first one is Axios. For HTTP requests, I know we can use fetch, but this is much simpler. And the second one is R suit, which is React suit. This is a very easy library, very easy to use library, uh, a UI library for React. And the last one is this, easy peasy. Okay, I think that will be it for this video. Just a, a normal setup, but before we end, uh, as you can see, there they have this simple example. So if you take a look at it, we have this function create store. We will import from easy peasy, and our store contains to dos, and we have these functions that, or as you can see, we pass to the action function that we will also import from easy peasy, and this when you dispatch it. It will dispatch an action called add to do, and this will be the reducer. So you will define your action creation creators and your re reducers in the same uh, place.
which which if you think about it might make uh, a lot more sense than defining uh, just a normal function that will return an object and define another function that will be ha will, that will handle uh, that retained uh, object you can do them uh, in one place like this so we will like this we will have an action called add to do and this the reducer that will handle that action and you might uh, you might notice that we are exiting the state from here then to do's which is this one then we just push to it which is uh, not uh, which is uh, like immutable action this should be immutable so the normal way we will like do something like this so let me copy it we will have state equal we will have to do's we will destruct the old state to, to those, then add the new one, the payload. This is what we'll uh, what we usually do in uh, Redux. But here we can do it like this because every state you define inside the create store function will be uh, passed to Imr. If you don't know about it, it's a library that makes every object in JavaScript immutable so any action you do on it will be immutable so this is actually an immutable action not mutable action uh, which is very nice so you can use JavaScript in the normal way but every action will be immutable and this will only apply inside this function which is very nice and yeah we will come to that eventually but uh, this is how you define your store this is an action and a reducer at the same time so and we need to like provide it so this is the store provider almost like react sorry almost like redux uh, but the name is different and in our component we will we will have two hooks the use store state this is to get something from the store so as you can see we are getting the to do's these uh, we can render them here and use the store action. This is a hook that will accept a callback function, and it you will have an access to the all actions you have inside your store, and you can return any one of them. So you can just call it, and this, as you can see, will dispatch this action on add. Uh, yeah, that's, this is a small introduction. They have this video here with one minute. Uh, it's really good, and that will be it for this video. Thank you.